taking on the Miami Marlins. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shumby. Yeah, we got a rubber match on our hands today, partner. Yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two, and regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about set to go now. And on the mound today, Sandy Alcantara, last year's Cy Young Award winner in the National League scene. Bubble, he was healthy last year and gained a tremendous amount of confidence. He took a big step forward last season. I think he'll take another one this season. All right, ready to get underway. And the batter will be the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Pitch misses there, and we're underway here this afternoon. And the right-hander deals. Out towards left center. Loriano sprinting after it. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. In the second safely, it's a leadoff double to start the game. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. And here's the rookie center fielder, Dominic Fletcher. That misses the zone, and it's on the go. After the loss yesterday afternoon where they really didn't ever get things going on offense, I think this is an important opportunity right here to pick up an early run. Flips the corner, and it's a ball to strike. Perdomo stands at second with no outs. Off the plate inside, two balls and a strike. He never, he never moved because he never had time to. to. But that, that kind of velocity, you'd prefer, prefer that pitcher work away. Two one. Two, one. Ball three. Swing and a line drive, drive base, base hit out of the center, center field. Loriano fires it to the plate, not in time. He's safe as a run scores. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. You often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. This is Corbin Carroll. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Alcantara, the former Cy Young Award winner, he features a changeup, a sinker, a four-seamer, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. That one push foul. Right into the play. Ball one. One, two. Runner at first with no outs here. And a curve is down and in. It's a good take.
Righty right delivers. Runner, runner on the go. Pitch outside. <laughs> Throw City. That's, That's a, a stolen base. base. Runner, runner in second. second nobody out. out. And ball four, two more. Well, a breaking, breaking ball on that 3-2 count, count kind of tells, tells you that that's, that's the, the pitch, pitch he has the most, has the most confidence, confidence in right, right now. now. Just, Just couldn't, couldn't find the strike zone. And, and now it's Christian Walker. Walker. Oh, for six, six in the series so far. far. In there oh, for strike one. At this point, the clean inning is over. Got to settle in, focus on the hitter, and get out of it with minimal damage. Here's your one. Runners up, blue. blue. Next, Next offering is foul back. First, First and second here, no outs. Not close with that one. It's a ball in two strikes. The pitch. Stays alive. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. Yes, he did. Down he goes on strikes. Here's Cattell Marte. Grounder might be two. Over to Jazz, there's one. And that's two. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now one nothing. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at the ballpark. And on the mound here today, Zach Gallen. Those guys coming off a season where fell short of 200 strikeouts, which is kind of the ultimate for pitchers to get to that level. And it just tells you how nasty his stuff is, but it also leaves a little bit on the table for him to come out this season and make sure that he gets over that number so that he can go into the offseason feeling like I'm in a pretty special group. The 1 0. They say you win. Boop, Zach oh, Allen oh, played his college ball for the University of North Carolina and decided to wear the number 23 for the Tar Heels, and you can imagine why, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. They had that shooting guard that played basketball and wore 23 at North Carolina. Pitch oh, misses. Yes. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. But it gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. And with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate. So very difficult to get the barrel on. A rise. Checks his swing. Appeal down the third. Yes, he did. That's a swing. Oh, and one now. Well, a good slider from an opposite-handed pitcher has to stay in that tunnel just a little bit longer. Otherwise, recognition can cause you to barrel it up. And right there, the hitter clearly couldn't do anything with it. And now one and two. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. 
Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in the lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with a number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. The line to kick the pitch. Ball one. One one. This one in the air right field. Fam gets under it. Brings it in for the third out. No runs, no hits, no errors. Second inning coming up here in South Florida. It's the Diamondbacks one and the Marlins nothing. Second inning set to go. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Alcantara back to work. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. And a base hit up the middle. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Here's Tommy Pham. Two for seven in the series so far. And that is in for a strike. 0 one Guriel gets his lead at first with nobody out. Lace to right center, base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. The third base is number three. Now it's Evan Longoria's turn. Longoria. Fastball for a strike. It's 0-1. Here comes a pitch. Oh. Joe McDonald oh. doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe's an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. It feels like he kind of moves around from game to game, sometimes inning to inning. The 1-1. One -one. And a swing and a miss there. Yeah, I think that's fair. I don't think he's ever way off with his balls and strikes, but yeah, I don't think it's easy to define what his zone is, like you said. The one, two. Mm, just misses there. Two down. Good eye right there. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. 3-2 down, and that'll load the bases. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches, and somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And now the batter is Carson Kelly. And the first offering is not close. Base is juiced, no outs. And now two and nothing. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count, base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. The pitch. And now two and one. 
You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. And a pitch. Out towards right center field. Squeezes it. Here comes the runner from third. The throws offline. He's saved. And they lead by two. Well, right there, he's definitely looking for more than just a sack fly with the bases loaded and nobody out, but you'll take it. Now it's up to the guys coming up behind him to pick up the rest of those runners on base. And now, Geraldo Perdomo doubled his first time up. Double steal. Up the middle, steps on the bag for one. Their second double play already. This one ends the second inning. They get a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Marlins nothing. Bottom of the second, here's Ramon Laureano. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And a swing and a miss. No ball. One strike. A one down. And that's in for a strike. Oh, two. And one and two. And that one off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The two two now. Fights it off, you'll see another. Two two on the way. Bows it back with two strikes. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. Jorge Soler up at the plate. Pitch misses inside. 1 and 0. And there's a ball. Got to be real careful here. 2 0. He's hunting for his pitch. Two and zero to Cal. Here it comes. Swing and a pop up foul and a play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. One down, base is empty. Ball three. Fouls one away and now, and now three, three and two. two. Back strikeouts. Oh, big, big power, power guy, guy right there, there generating so, so much bat speed, speed. It's hard to, to bring, bring that, that to a halt once you commit it. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Here's, Here's Christian Arroyo. Yeah. And, and that's in there for strike one. one. the ground the third and that's, that's a, a fair, fair ball. ball
There's something about holding one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just a fun turn on a pitch like he did right there. Nating in, number 73. That one's in there on one. Gallon checks, checks on the runner, runner. And, and he's, he's back, back in, in there. there. Next Ooh, offering is in for a strike. strike. Perhaps, Perhaps not, not quite ready to hit. First, first two, two pitches, pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back, back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Captain is out of the way of that one. Here's, Here's a one-two. One, two. And down on strikes. That is the inning. inning. So one hit is all they get. We play two full. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Marlins nothing. Out of the third inning. Now the number two hitter, Dominic Fletcher. Number Dominic Fletcher. And a pitch. And fouled off. Left hand hit her waist. Got that. Good eye on that spot. To the right side, and it goes just foul. Pulled the string of the changeup. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had a fool. Corbin Carroll digs in now. Back to the mound. And that one handled. Not in time, and he reaches safely. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the end of the single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. Runner on at first with one gone. Now, now here's the, the cleanup, cleanup hitter for Arizona, Arizona Christian, Christian Walker. Walker. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Foul ball. Walker handling the duties at first, 32 years old, and he's a former Gold Glove Award winner. Carroll over at first with one away. Next yeah, offering is in for a strike. strike. Well, he looks fresh, fresh out there. there. Just needs to get, get a little more confidence and remember, remember how, how good he's, he's been, been in the past. Deal two. Keeps the at back going with a foul ball. Oh, he got away with a mistake right there. And here he comes. In the, in the air, air right, right field. field. And it's two down. down. The back, the second base, Cattell Marte. An outstanding hitter in Cattell Marte. First offering and it just misses. Well, if he's, he's going to steal, steal second, you, you want him to go early in the count. count. That, that way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. plate. Go, go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. And that's outside. Two balls, no strikes to count. Alcantara over to first. Carroll back easily. Runner, 
the kick, kick of the pit. pit. Runner goes. Chop to the left side. And he picks it up in foul territory. Alcantara picks the first. And he's back in safely. Swings and misses. That is strike two. Right-hander kicks, kicks deals. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number three. One left for the Diamondbacks. They're up to nothing. of the third, and, and now the catcher, catcher comes up to him. Nick Fortes. Gallon, back, back to work. That's in there. Strike one. Fortes goes five feet, 11 inches, 200 pounds, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2018. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up, has an offer on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder up there. That, that hits the dirt. dirt. Now, now one and two. two. That, that one drifts inside. Two ball, two strike. Two, two, two now. Swing, Swing and a miss. Struck, struck him, him out. out. Now, now one away. away. Jazz, Jazz Chisholm, Chisholm Jr. Jr. now. And that's, that's going to get into the, the corner. corner. Oh, the, oh, the throw, throw is over his head. head. And he's, he's going to make it up to second base, base as that's, that's a two-base error. Two Fastball pretty much middle, middle. middle. That's, that's what, what you fall, fall asleep, asleep dreaming, dreaming about as a hitter. So, so no surprise, surprise he put a great, great swing on it. So the batting order turns over. And now Brian De La Cruz. Struck, Struck out swinging, swinging leading, leading off the bottom, bottom of the first. first. Swinging Swing a foul straight, straight back. back. Runner, Runner in second, second here, here, one gone. gone. Check, Check swing, but he went too far. 0-2. Man in second. second. Got, Got him. him. Picks, Picks up strikeout strike number, number seven. seven. Oh, this, oh, this guy's, guy's been pretty much a non-factor so far this weekend. This weekend. Very, Very little, little in the way of impactful at bats and quality at bats and let alone contact. That's the sixth time they've set him down on strikes in the series. So no doubt frustration mounting and very high right now. That for the second, second time, and, and that's strike one. one. Man, I mean, nice, nice job, job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. The old one. Foul, Foul ball there. there. Runner leads, leads away at second. second. Arrives. Tries, Tries to check, check his swing. swing. Now, now we'll look to third. third. And yes, yes, he did. Freddie, Freddie Ferguson rings him up. up. Marlins, Marlins lead one. one. And, and they're, they're down, down to nothing. nothing. Back here in Miami. And, and it's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Jr. Lourdes Gurriel. The wide of the pitch. pitch. And there's the strike. Well, these Diamondbacks showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. 
They say it went. It's just a little too early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Off the plate, two balls, two strikes. Just off the outside part of the plate. And a pitch. Struck him out without a swing. He's, He's got to be frustrated, frustrated with that call. Oh, you, you know, that's, that's going to be very frustrating, frustrating for this guy. guy. He, he knows, knows the strike zone extremely, extremely well. well. And you, you know, know what? Good hitters, hitters are not going to compromise. He'll, He'll take, take that punch out, but ultimately, ultimately stick, stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Now it's the right fielder, Tommy Pham. First pitch, and he just misses. Kicks, kicks and, and fires. fires. Sharp, Sharp grounder, grounder that's, that's through for a base hit. hit. The third base number three, Evan. Evan Longoria will hit next. He reached out a walk his first time. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The old one. one. Ground, Ground ball right, right side could, could be two. two. Arroyo over, over to second. Return, return throw to first. Got him. Double, Double play. play. And that'll, that'll do, do it. it. No, no runs, runs, one hit, no errors, and, and no one left. left. On, On now, now to the, the bottom, bottom of the fourth. fourth. It's, it's the, the Diamondbacks, Diamondbacks two, two and, and the Marlins nothing. nothing. Welcome back. Now the left fielder, Jesus Sanchez. The right hander back to work. That immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps with over 80% of your first pitches or strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. That one finds the zone, and it's nothing in two. In the dirt. The throw, the throw to first, first one out in the bottom of the floor. Make, make quick, quick work, work of him right, right there, Siggy. I, I know that's, that's the kind of a bat maybe leaves a lot of fans wondering, wondering what was he doing, doing up there, there right? right? Yeah, and, and I, I get, get that. that. I mean, you, you take two straight, straight strikes, strikes, then chase one way, way out of the zone. zone. It's, it's, it's just not, not a good at bat. It'll leave you shaking your head as a hitter, if not worse. But there's always going to be those trips to the play where you're just lost up there, and that was one of them for sure. Laurie comes up to hit, clips the outside corner, strike one. Fish. High in the air, out, out to right. right. Fan drifts towards it, makes the grab, grab for the second out. out. Now, now bad. The designated hitter. And next is the designated hitter, Jorge Soler. Struck out swinging his first time. That's off the bar, and, and that's, that's ball one. one. There, there's a strike, strike on the outside, outside corner. corner. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses, struck him out. And one, two, three, go the Marlins. They're still down. It's two zip. Back 
here in Lone Depot Park. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the catcher, Carson Kelly. Here's a fun note on Kelly. Guys find out they've been drafted all kinds of ways. Kelly was actually presenting a project in his high school marketing class when he found out the Cardinals had selected him. How did you find out you were drafted? Yeah, I found out a few days later via telegram. Next one misses, and that's ball two. Two ball, no strike. That and that's it for a strike. In today's, In today's game, game, not that, that many fastball counts, counts but hitters, hitters still, still in the back, back of their minds, they're looking for one. Two will change up call right there. Excellent, excellent pitch selection to go with. Next, Next offering is down low. Three and one now. And the pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. up. Chisholm drifts, drifts towards it, makes the catch, and there's one gone. The bat, number two, shortstop. Geraldo Perdomo, now, now at the plate, one for two. two. That, that one, one misses, misses. and yeah, that's, that's ball one. one. There's a strike. strike. Check, Check swing, swing, and he held it up. up. He, he swings, swings and hits a fly, fly ball, ball, center, center field. field. Makes, makes the, the grab, grab and there's two gone. Defender field number eight, Dominic. Dominic Fletcher stands in now for the Diamondbacks. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. That's a strike, and it's a one one This batter has to understand his job is to get on base however he can. If he gets hit by a pitch, if he walks, Maybe, Maybe even singles, singles but, but you, you want to get, get the heart of the order up to the play. That, that one misses in the dirt. dirt. And, and a ground ball to first. Arroyo takes it to the bag, out number three. So one, two, three, go to the Diamondbacks. But they hold the two nothing lead. We, we head, head to the, the bottom, bottom of the field. field. Now, yeah. Christian Arroyo. All well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. And that one wrapped foul. You know, these Marlins, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. That, that one finds, finds the corner, corner, and that, that is strike two. two. Fights, Fights that, that one away, away and the count remains 0-2. Oh, and, and it deals. And delivers outside. outside. One, two. And now the count is even. Ooh, I thought he'd bite right there. Two, two, two down. down. And that's two outside. Two now on this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk and go give it to you. And the right deals. We'll see another payoff pitch. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the wall. Very gritty. And now for the Marlins, number 73. He struck out swinging in his first at bat.
pitch misses inside. Ball one. Arroyo aboard here at first with nobody out. On the line. Carroll pulls that one down. And there's one down. Here's the catcher, Nick Fortes. Went down on strikes his first time through. In there, and it's on one. Space, try to stay out of a double play here. That's a laser base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, down one out. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got to stride low, out of the way early. Stay inside that ball and square it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Next to hit, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Doubled in his first A.B. In there for strike one. One out, runners at first and second. Next pitch misses, and it's one and one. One ball, one strike. Just a slow ground ball this time. To first, and he beats it, everyone safe. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. And the play, Brian De La Cruz. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And ball on to the, the right fielder. One out, base is full. They say you win. One more. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Swing a foul of the screen and back out of play. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Righty delivers. It's softly on the ground left side. Goes to second, safe there. Lisa Rice stands in. There's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. First offering misses the mark. That one in there across the letters. Base is loaded, one away. Next offer is in for a strike. Rip to third and caught. He 
takes it to the bag himself, but he's back in time. Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Well, at least he's in the series for him so far, and it's only been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things and makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help, never helped me. There. Strike two. One, two. And the right hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Fan on the move to the gap. He's got it, and that is out number three. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. We're through five. It's the Diamondbacks two, and the Marlins one. Top of the sixth inning, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Corbin Carroll. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Alcantara back to work. Ball one, no strikes. And another ball. Two oh. Down the ball here, rolls foul. that you want. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You gotta focus on the stuff that he's throwing out there most of the time. Got him. One away. And here's the first baseman, Christian Walker. Christian Walker. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Jake's going to the 0 2, appeal to first. No swing, he held up. Carl Dixon with the call there. The line the kick of the one two. Slider misses outside. The pitch. Next offering misses down and away. Left field, Sanchez gets under it. Puts it away for the out. Cattell Marte up to the plate. Bounce up the middle. Gets it to first. They get the out on Marte. And it's a one, two, three inning. Three up, three down for him there. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Marlins one. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the six. Here's the cleanup hitter for Miami, Ramon Laureano. Laureano in his fifth season, 28 years old. And he's usually at right field, but today he's patrolling center. Now the first pitch misses for ball one. Some guys love to make that adjustment from a quarter spot to center field because in center, you get the best view of the ball game. You're looking 
is straight in at the hitter's area. On the corners, you are blocked a little bit. And there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Second with one gone in the inning. Now a 
Ball catches the corner, corner for a strike. strike. Okay. At, At the, the belt, belt fires. fires. Ball. Bounce it off, still one and two. The pitch. That misses. Two balls, two strikes. One run game, one out, one on. Now one, one out, out to, to right. right. Drops, Drops in for a hit. hit. Couldn't run, run it down. down. Rowe comes in quickly, quickly as the lead runner, runner in the third gets, gets the stop sign. A, a perfect, perfect example, example right, right there. there. That, that plate, plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Second, second and third. third. Now, now up next, next for Arizona, Arizona Carson, Carson Kelly. Kelly. And, and that, that one just, just misses a ball and no strikes. strikes. in there at the knees. Here's a sack class situation, and he's going to make sure he gets the ball out of the plate and get his arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. It'll be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. And a pitch. Good eye right there. Second and third here. One away. They say you win. <laughs> and now two and two would chase, chase that, that time. time. The 3-2 oh, is off the outside edge, and that, that is ball four. four. A real, a real bad, bad time for a walk. You're, You're trailing, trailing in this ball, ball game, game trying to keep things close. close. They've been in a difficult spot, and things, things aren't getting any easier. easier. Steven Oker gets the call from the pen. Just, Just trying to keep this one close here. This is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. Next to hit, Geraldo Perdomo. One for three. First pitch, no, just, just misses. misses. Backdoor Back breaking, breaking ball, just, just missed right there. And boy, umpire to give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows, knows he's going to have to swing it. Good hitters count the 2 0. Just oh, missed. Miss. So, so definitely, definitely a little wild right, right out of the gate. It could be a little tough coming from the bullpen now to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Here's a three. Yeah, there's a strike. Three ball. One strike. Hit on the ground, might be two. Chisholm, toss the second, not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible any double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. Fletcher stands, stands in now, in now for the, the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks. And, and first, first offering, offering is fouled off. off.
two, two on, two, two outs. outs. <laughs> Runners on first, first and third, third two, two away. away. Up to the left, left. into foul, foul ground. The right calls it in, and there's one away. Boy, that, that was, was a hanging breaking ball, ball right there. there. I, think I think he tried to do a little, little bit too much. much. Sometimes, Sometimes those eyes can get, get really big. big. I, think I think his swing, swing broke down as well, down and that's what caused him to pop it up. 
And, and next, next will be the, the cleanup, cleanup hitter, hitter Christian, Christian Walker. Walker. Fouled off. off. He, he was, was late. late. Well, they've well, kept him pretty quiet, quiet in this series. Still, still doesn't, doesn't have, have a knock. knock. I know you, you want to get, get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you've got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against it. Here comes, Here comes the one. Fall off foul. foul. Only two, two now. Now, now one, one miss. It's been a solid, solid inning so far. Relief. relief. Get, Get them through this, this inning. inning. Only down two. Could give, give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind, grind their, their way, way back into this game with the few outs that they have left. One and two now. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Nothing doing for Arizona. And the score stays 3-1. Miguel Castro comes on now. They know that he can get a right-hander out, but he's in position to face a couple of lefties this inning. So, so digging, digging in, in Brian De La Cruz. De La Cruz. Oh, well, like and a pitch. Oh, in for a strike. strike. Oh. Pitching, Pitching has been pretty dominant, dominant in, this in this one, one but you've got to be careful, careful not working with too big a lead. lead. They, they can get, get right back, back in this ball game if you're not careful. Now the old one. No ball. Two, two, three. Come on. Next, Next offering is outside. outside. O2 pitch, o pitch is that far out of the zone. Gives, gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. Right hander kicks deals. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And now, and now two, two and two. two. Sharp grounder, that's, that's through for base hit. hit. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming in in the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And at the plate for Miami, Luis Arias. That just misses. Ball one. On the ground. To second, there's one. On the first double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute right there. Really nice footwork and a good feed to second is the key to pulling it off. 
Jesus Sanchez, the next up for the Marlins. And that's in there for strike one. Two outs. A little, a little bit low. low. Looking very, very settled, settled on the mound here in the eighth. eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two run lead. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Now on the ball, AJ Puck. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. So now here's the DH, Lourdes Goriel Jr. The pitch. Now a check swing, but he held up. Pug. In his third season, he features a four seam fastball, a slider, a sinker, and he works in a changeup. And a 1 0. Guriel gets a piece. Ball to strike. The pitch. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is when bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Now the batter down. Tommy Pham. Guriel on the first, nobody out. Grounded to third, could be two. Over to Jazz, there's one. How about that double play? I think there's always something pretty about watching a 5 4 3 double play get turned. I mean, just seeing the ball whipped around the diamond with quickness and accuracy, that was nice. Here's the third baseman, Evan Longoria. There's a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Late on that fastball. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Going to count one and two. To the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Diamondbacks three and the Marlins one. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Paul Seawall. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pin to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Now, now here's the, the cleanup clean hitter for Miami, Ramon Laureano. <laughs> and here it comes. And first off, Ray is fouled off. And the pitch. 
Swing and a miss as he was late. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in place somewhere, then you've got a chance. And one and two. And the righty deals. Bounce it off, still one and two. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Here comes the pitch. Foul ball still, one and two count. Righty delivers. And a ball even to count. That two seam fastball is usually coupled with a slider away. And when a hitter's conscious of the pitch in, it's hard for him to cover middle away. And that's where a pitcher can really finish off that batter. And that's ripped to the left. Base hit. Makes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Nice line drive to the pull side, fed it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Now here's the Marlins DH, Jorge Soler. That one catches the zone, and it's on one. The time run at the plate. And a foul ball. No outs. Runner on second. Next pitch is outside. One ball. Two to Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Got him. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Christian Arroyo, the next up for the Marlins. Side corner with that one. That was just paint on the first pitch fastball. Next one is off the plate. And that is ball one. One out and a runner at second. In there. And so now one and two. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Fights that one away, still one and two. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy in the fastball. Another one, two. Foul off the plate, they'll do it again. Here's a one, two. This one popped up. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Man, he just couldn't lay off right there. Those high fastballs, they just look really good because they're high level, but they're just about impossible to get the barrel to. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Yuli Gurriel. And this is a big bat in this ball game. First off, bringing the just misses. And on second, two down. And another ball. Well, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game when you run to the play. Swing and a miss. Next 
next offering clips the zone count even at two. Just off the outside edge. That turns out to be a really good take right there, but you don't want to end this game with the bat on your shoulder. Is just one strike away. Swing a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Two run game with two away here in the bottom of the ninth. Foul off again. And it remains 3 and 2. Stays alive. Like a right base hit. hit. Headed, Headed for the plate. And, and that one's going to get, get into the, the corner. corner. The run, run comes, comes in from second. second and, and now they trail by one. one. That's a big swing, swing of the bat, bat driving in the run with the two tackle. Sure, the rule is to drive that pitch the opposite way. way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball, and let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Austin Adams takes over on the mound. This is his third time out this year. So now a pinch hitter, Reese, Reese McGuire. McGuire. Big, Big spot, spot for him here. here. Substitution now at second, second base. Coming, coming in as a pinch, pinch runner, runner, John, John Birdie. Birdie. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Diamondbacks. Three runs on nine hits, no errors, and they left us eight and on base. Ten spots. Ten spots. Ten spots. Ten spots. Mitzi Turbos. Mitzi Turbos. Mitzi Turbos. Mitzi Turbos. Twenty-four set. Twenty-four set. Twenty-four set. Twenty-four set. Twenty-four set. Never come down.
if you're gonna be fucking making tunes where you want to scare people, you gotta be out on the street fucking, you know, dishing out slaps. It's gonna be